I've been making a lot of stainless steel tools lately because I live by the ocean and everything rusts. And I think it's time to make some pliers. They don't need to be perfect, but good enough to be a decent pair of pliers that I can accidentally drop in the ocean or get splashed with seawater and not worry about it. Now what style do I start with? Hmm. I don't have time to whip up a forge right now. So I'm going to see what I can do with a couple steel rods and an angle grinder. Stainless steel rods. I'll start by carving a chunk out of each one. I'm going to be honest, I'm not doing the best job ever here. So I just want to see if it'll work. Sometimes when I'm doing stuff like this, uh, I basically pretend this is the first pair of pliers that's ever been invented and I'm just going to like make the most basic thing. And then I end up going through the evolution of pliers, like just naturally. And I, and I do that because I end up learning a lot of things along the way, it, you know, as opposed to just copying something that's been made now or following some blueprints or something. All right, so now I need to carve off enough material that this can twist like that. So that means take off a section here, here, and the same thing on this one. All right, now the back needs more taken off. I can't start in the middle. I have to start all the way over there and take off that much. Because this part's going to have some of this missing. Yuck. God. It'll make sense in a minute. Or ten. Unless, of course, my brain is lying to me. In which case, this will make no sense. All right, getting there. The back's done. The back will will slide together if the front's not in the way. Now the front has to cut off, I'm going to show on this one, cut off some of that and a little bit of that. And just, well, I could just cut this all the way down. But I think I want to, yeah. A little bit of trimming in there and there. Oh, it's not bad. Obviously, you can use some, uh, you know, prettiness increases. Tapering these down, curving some handles a little. Uh, anyway, to get them functional now, I just need to drill a hole through the pivot point and get a bolt in there. Whew. I had to sharpen my bit about 20 times to do it, but I got through that thing. I think that's a good sign. It means the uh, steel is strong. It should be good for a tool. All right, let's see what I've got here. Oh, nice. Man, those are functional already. Cool. There's nut on there. I think I'll trim these down. It doesn't matter. It's just aesthetic stuff. Although I might want to needle nose them so I can get into things. And then the handles, I don't know. We curve them, carve some of this out. A little bit. No, for right now they work. Well, after I put a nut on there. Yeah, nut. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, let's tighten that on. Oh, if only I had some pliers. Ah, no, two, two. I'm not entirely sure what I want to do with these yet. But I'm just going to stuff. I don't know. Hmm, that's kind of cool. Got some lines in there for some grip in action. 
space in here for grabbing nuts. Don't grab my nuts. Yeah, grab your nuts. Grab them. I think those are pretty good. I'm kind of presuming at some point I'm going to want to carve more off here and more off there and kind of whittle these down, but I'm just going to see how it goes. I don't really care that my pliers are heavy. I can squeeze them mighty hard and they don't break, which puts them already ahead of any modern pliers. Modern pliers, I squeeze them, they break. These suckers, I've had this metal out here outside for like two years. Not a speck of rust. That's a good sign. Well, I guess I'll just keep these around, make them my go-to pliers for a while, and see how it goes. I'll probably want to shave this off at some point, cut that off. I don't know. I'm just going to start using them. Make adjustments as I feel the need. Oh, it is kind of nice. Not having to worry about getting them wet. Oh, that is great.